sure there are perks of the autumn. Three apples is one of them. But there is something, always something, something about autumn that makes most of us a little bit unhappy. And that is that summer is over. And that's, that's what we are going to talk about today. Attempt number two. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Festivals! Yeah. So, I don't know about you, but one of the things that always makes autumn feels a little bit more terrible is knowing that you, had so, much, so. Uh, you had so much fun during the summer and one of the things that I've been doing the last eight or nine years of my life has been going to festivals. While there are festivals in the winter time as well, there's just nothing like the summer festivals. So, so we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Because we have been to uh, four festivals together yeah, this, this summer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there have been some questions, some people asking me about which is the best festival to go to. So I don't know if we can, can answer that or at least give you some more hint about what we think about the four festivals that we've been to. Which has been Wave Treffen in Germany, Subkult Festivalen in uh, Sweden, Mira Luna in Germany, and Infest in United Kingdom. Hmm. And, and what we can say about this is that they all have some kind of alternative music focus. Some of them are more gothy, uh, and some of them are... All of them have some kind of gothy element to it, but some one of them have more an electronic feel and one have more like wide mm -hmm. alternative and yeah we'll talk mo more about that but getting into it but we'll do it this chronolo chronological, <laughs> chronological order <laughs> <laughs> so that means starting with uh, with maybe the most important the big one wave mm -hmm. treffen we'll just call it treffen uh, so wave gothic treffen oh, treffen <laughs> takes place in Leipzig and it's like one of the most, the biggest event when it comes to goth festivals. Mm. It's spread out in the whole city and it's like, it's five days of pure partying, music, it's everything you can possibly ask for. Um, and I don't know what you think about Wave Gothic Treffen, but for me, the highlight of the festival is having this diversity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really can go through all the city and meet so many people and just sightseeing too. Yeah. It's just not like a regular festival area. Mm. There, it's so much more than just a music festival. Mm. Uh, you can go to a massive fashion market, you can go to art exhibitions, you can even go to the Leipzig Opera mm. uh, and see, see concerts there. They have bat sightseeing at the cemetery. I haven't been to it. Yeah, bat sightseeing, yeah. Bat sightseeing. Bat spotting. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> you can do yeah, a lot Yeah, they have of a things. guided tour, a daytime guided tour at the Museums. cemetery as well. Yeah. Uh, and it's just, it's just, it's just so big uh, mm. and so, so much to do. So there is, it's more of a culture festival than a music festival somehow. And for people who are not interested in seeing the band, it's even possible to go there without even buying the festival ticket. Mm. A lot of people actually do that. Um, so my highlight from this actual year was our bar hopping that we did. On the Sunday night of the festival, uh, because the Monday night is, uh, the Monday is a day off for Germans, so the Sunday is the biggest party day. Uh, it's the day when they have the most after parties going. So I don't know how many there were, but maybe 13 or something else. So apparently we are... I made a great suggestion. Uh, we're going to try to do all the after parties of Wave Gothic Treffen. All the parties. Not... Simon said, what party do you want to go on tonight, Edward? And I'm like, how many are there? And Eleven. First, first he said seven. I'm like, okay, let's do them all. And he's like, all. And then we figured out it was... 11. 11. I think it's 11 parties. And now we gotta do so, them all. So, so, so to make this fun... <laughs> so we really tried our best to do them all. And I think we ended up doing nine after parties between midnight and like five or six in the morning. I did not go because I'm not a crazy person. <laughs> I did one. <laughs> but I didn't do that that day. But... <laughs> 
I think you would have enjoyed it. What 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 was your highlight of the festival? Um, I really love the diversity in that you don't have to party to be there. You can just like <sighs> take it easy too. So uh, you can see bands, but you don't have to see the bands. But it's more like talking to people and really seeing another city. And too. especially since it's five days, mm. so you can do like crazy partying one day and like do more high culture one day mm. and and you still get the full experience. Yeah. yeah, so I spent one day just eating ice cream. Yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so on the downside then, I would say that, I mean, for me, one of the downsides was getting stuck on the way there, mm. but that was only due to problems in the Stockholm public transport that has nothing to do with the actual festival. But one of the actual festival um, downsides that has to do with the festival is always clashes when it comes to Wave with the Treffen. All the stages, uh, all the places where they host the concerts, they are so f they're far away from each other, mm. which means that there will be clashes. You won't be able to see all the bands that you want to see. I think I saw like four? Out of how, how many? 130? Yeah. Something? More and more, I think 200 bands. Yeah, um, it's crazy a lot of bands playing. You saw four bands only. I right? saw four. I or think five. I, saw you, so. I think I saw four the last day, actually. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> I, I think I saw like 12 bands or something. <laughs> three bands each day, or two two or three bands each day. Mm -hmm. Good good goal for me, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bad thing about Vegeta is that transportation it takes so much time to go anywhere you have to like spend at least an hour just planning on where to go and uh, so that's the downside yeah. with it. and it's also you can also make it fun and, yeah and like we hang, always do hanging out at the at the uh, the tram is actually like if you have good friends with you it's actually a possibility for you to spend some quality time with your friends. <laughs> the only possibility to spend uh, quality time because everyone is like spread around. Yeah, around yeah, yeah. The place. and it's like it's not as loud, and you can actually talk to each other. Mm. So. Okay, so that's way good to Yeah. Is there anything more to say about it? It's a great festival, yeah, and, and I think that go. if you can only do one festival mm. in the summer, I would probably, and if you really want a goth festival. You can only do one. I would say Wave Gothic Treffen. I mean, just the thing that it's the the it has five days. Yeah, and it's so cheap. Cheap, yeah, it's Very pretty cheap. cheap. Uh, if you want to go there, you need though. If you want to go there and don't want to stay at the campsite, you need to book your accommodation now. If you want to stay cheap, mm. but if you book it now, you can actually get kind of good deals. Yeah, but the festival tickets like nothing. Yeah, the Five festival days, ticket is 120 euros or yeah. something. Um, so it's it's a good a good value for 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 the money. Some other festivals like Mira Luna, their ticket is a hundred, but it's only two or three days depending on how you count. Mira Luna, uh, we with the Treffen is 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 very long. And now we've been talking about this festival for way too long. So let's <laughs> continue to the next one. The <laughs> Subkult Festival is very Swedish dear one. dear to my heart because it's in Sweden. Mm. Um, and what to say about Subkult? Subkult compared to Way with the Treffen, it's more mixed alternative music. Yeah, it's like metal and goth metal. Yeah, uh, there you can get some metal as well at at Way with the Treffen, but I, I think Subkult is it's way wider. It also mm. stretches out a bit to the more more pop. electro pop, yeah. not not mainstream pop, but alternative pop, if that <laughs> makes sense. Um, and. Uh, yeah. It's 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 compared to all other festivals, it's very small. Yeah, it's really small. Yeah, but it's very friendly and very cozy and I think that especially if you're Swedish, it's kind of mandatory to go there. Um it's it's uh, I mean compared to go to going to Vegoti Treffen, it's super cheap if you're from Sweden. If mm. you're from some other place, of course it's all the transportation and things will add up, but you can still get good deals. Yeah. If you book ahead. So for me, I would say, of course, the Subkult Festival and the main, the main, uh, the main thing that I really like is meeting all the people, because I think that 
as a summer festival, it has this this um, possibility. It it brings together people from all of Sweden. Mm. Uh, like smaller events, they might gather all the people from one city, but as a summer festival, it really attracts people from far. Mm. And that's really nice because you get to see people that you haven't met in a long time. Yeah, it's like bringing all your alternative families together so you mm. can hug, <laughs> hug each other and talk to each other. Yeah, and I also like the crazy mix uh, of music that they actually put on the mm. stage. Uh, for example, like most, most of the music has an alternative touch to it, but then there is also, uh, this year they added a lot of uh, bit pop music, and they also added a band called Dunder Patrullen, yes. um, <laughs> which is, I don't know, they are probably most most uh, known for being kind of an, a YouTube meme. Mm. Um, and if you've been at the Mira Luna festival, you, you might know have heard this. <laughs> you <laughs> might have heard this person, music. you heard it. Oh. No, I, it wasn't my fault. It was your fault. No, your not, fault. not from the beginning. No. no? <laughs> What was your main highlight of Sukult? Uh, yes, like bringing together the alternative fam family, you yeah. get to meet all the, the cozy people. I would say also for uh, I didn't notice note this on my paper, but it came to my mind now that I think that Sukult, as being a smaller festival, I think it's very uh, it's a good place to go for for a festival if you're new into mm -hmm. it. And maybe also if you think it's a bit stressful to have too many people yeah, around. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Uh, there is so much space. Um, I mean, there are hundreds or even thousands of people there, but the space is huge. So you, 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 and there is always empty space for you to go to. And the festival area is really close to the city. Yeah. So you can always like leave and do something else if you like to. Mm. Uh, and they, they also have. Other stuff than the festival area. They yeah. had like a Oriel concert. Organ concert in yeah. the church. In the church. That's amazing. I've seen it once. Uh, and they had an art exhibition at the, yeah. at the culture centrum was, thingy. Yeah, yeah, I was there. So they tried to include the, the rest of the city too. Yeah. That's a good thing. And for foreign visitors, it's, uh, uh, it's in Trollhättan, which is a smaller city, but it's close to Gothenburg or Göteborg. Mm. Um, which makes it accessible for anyone who wants to travel there yeah. by plane. It's uh, a major airport in Sweden. Yes. Is right. there anything more to add about Subkult Festival? There have to come. Oh yeah, people. the downsides. The downsides. The downside is that there aren't enough people. I want to have yeah. more people so that we can so, have this so, festival. Yeah. So, so the downside of this year, yeah. I, I, I thought um, when going there. I was hoping that there would be more people mm. coming that this year, but I was a bit let down. Uh, it was actually more people there last year, the, the year before. Mm. So shame, it all <laughs> <laughs> those of you who didn't come because we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really uh, good. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, it's just so many awesome and crazy and cozy people there. I, I would I would like to say as uh, in the subcult video or oh, well maybe you just cut that in here it's so much actually for me um it's a lot of color but at the same time a lot of uh, synth and goth and uh, black leather latex all the yummy lovely people you like and want to have around you so basically everything it's amazing I like to meet other people that are, that are That's amazing! It's amazing! Yeah! Subcult for me is, is this all different people connecting together and, and combined as well and everything is awesome. I don't know. <laughs> it's very good. I love Subcult. I don't, I don't have a straight answer because you have, to, you have to come here and be a part of it to know. Yeah, and I agree with Mixi. Yes. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Let's continue. Continue, continue. Mira Luna. Yeah. Back in Germany. Yes. It was your first time and my third time mm -hmm. uh, at the festival. Surprisingly good. I didn't think it was going to be that good. So Mira Luna 
is like the opposite side of uh, um, of Vejguti Treffen is also one of these massive uh, festivals that focuses on goth and related genres uh, but it's it's the organization is totally different instead of being in the city this is the classic festival with it being at the field mm. and there are stages just built up for the weekend and everything like classic uh, field festival so it's a total different experience mm. but i like it um and and i think that that's also my main highlight is that it's just so cool to be there mm. uh, there are so many people everywhere and yeah i wasn't expecting expecting it to be so big i had no idea that there were so many people yeah. Uh, it's almost the same crowd, the audience numbers as Vegeta, right? Uh, it's it's uh, yeah, it's, it's they take twenty five thousand people per day mm. uh, in ticket sales. Uh, on my downsides is is that I always feel stressed, a bit stressed uh, when I, when I'm at Mira Luna, and especially because I also made a video from from the, from the festival that steals a couple of hours. But even without that, it's only two official festival days mm. and one pre-party day. Uh, and since it's so huge, there are so many people you want to meet. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, for me, it's a bit stressful to be there. Yeah, I can agree. You want to see more of the people around on the campsite and mm. like walking around. Yeah, just do more. Yeah. I couldn't taste all the food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. For me, the first time when I went to Mera Luna, I was surprised because I've uh, previously been to other, uh, like the same kind of festivals, f uh, field festival. I don't know what to call them, like normal campsite festivals. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised that it was so calm, mm -hmm. the, the campsite, because I've been to festivals before where it's like when the sun goes down, so it's just total mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> like a riot yeah. at the campsite. Yeah. Uh, and uh, compared to that, Mira Luna is relatively, or well, very calm. It's very, very, very calm. Very calm. Like so if you want to sleep at the campsite, it's actually possible. Yeah. Um, but now I've actually found out, oh, well, I did find out, uh, if you know where to go, or uh, just go down to the main square, there will always be people who want to party through the night. It's just not the entire campsite. <laughs> Like we're used to yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. But but that's I, I guess that's that's just a uh, because that's the kind of culture that's there and that's also like the the what do you say um, the the range of of age yeah, of people the, yeah me at the older. Uh, the medium age of people, I don't know, it, it's higher, it was, it's a bit higher. So, I mean, there are a lot of young people, that are, but there are also people that have been coming there for 20 years or whatever. Mm. Uh, well, that's so, fun to see. Yeah. It feels like you have a future. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go uh, boring and beige. Yeah. Like everyone else. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, we drive in down there, so I was a bit exhausted when I got there. But I think I did good partying. And uh, there have been <laughs> so many people that have been uh, been saying that, Oh, we were at uh, at your crazy Swedish uh, after party. We were like took our tent down to the main square and the big speaker. And people were dancing to mixed stupid music and mixed good music mm. and uh, people kind of enjoyed it. I have Just throw in some German schlager every now and then and the Germans will dance like crazy. Mm -hmm. Except that one guy who came up to me and like, oh you shouldn't play German schlager music because they are actually they are uh, confused right now. They don't know if they want to dance or not. What? They are just trying to be polite. They were very, very, very polite in that case. <laughs> <laughs> they were partying like this. <laughs> yeah. No, I mix up. Because after a full day uh, in front of the stages and just listening to, to the same kind of music, you need to wind mm. down with some stupid music as yeah, well. Yeah, you'd have to. I actually have people... Uh, from uh, Germany and uh, Czechian, uh, Czech, Czech Republic? Republic, 
who's been uh, videotaping themselves listening to Dunde Patrullen because <laughs> of Madalena. Yeah. Sending to me, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, we mix in some Swedish music there as well. We need to, to spread our heritage. We want everyone to be singing in Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Monica kind of worked as well. Yeah, it worked. It's easy. Uh, anything more to add about Mera Luna? No, I don't think so. It's a nice festival. I would really love to go again. Yeah. I think it's also... Um, like people have been asking me if, I, if you can only go to Mera Luna or VGT when you go to Treffen. Treffen. Uh, I would still say Treffen because mm -hmm. it's, it's more and it's longer. So if you're flying in from US or uh, far away... Yeah, it's uh, more worth worth your while if you're yeah. traveling far but if you can stay for a while uh, Mera Luna might actually be a good alternative because mm. then there are more other festivals uh, in the same same time around the uh, Mera Luna and only two weeks after Mera Luna it's the Infest festival Yay! so <laughs> if you can do the two two of these festivals uh, in one trip Maybe you can start on flying into Germany and then mm. you can get your homebound flight from UK. And maybe then you'll get two festivals instead of just just one. Mm. And then suddenly it's a very good deal. Yes, it is. Yeah. So let's talk about Infest before it gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy British uh, festival. Yeah. So Infest <laughs> uh, is, uh, takes place in Bradford, which is this, like medium-sized city mm. in close to Manchester, up north in, uh, in, England. in the United Kingdom. Um, and it was our second time going mm. there. Last year it was only you and me going, but now we managed to bring along some Ten more Swedes? people. Ten Swedes? Or was it seven? Well, the plan was to bring twelve Swedes, but in the end we were seven, I think. Yeah. No. It's better than two. Yeah. <laughs> but we had such a good time <laughs> and uh, off, before going there we said to each other that oh now we have done Infest two times, uh, um, maybe we should try something else next mm. year. Uh, but when going back from the festival we were kind of like, maybe, maybe it's to too good to skip. Third time. <laughs> um time. And there are several, several highlights of the Infest festival. Um, first and foremost is that I would say it's just so friendly also. Uh, Infest is also a smaller festival. While being an, uh, a summer festival, it takes uh, the main festival area is indoors. Uh, but there is a big outdoor area as well. Yeah, but it's kind of good that it's indoors because it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so it rains yeah. a lot. But I, I would say that you still get kind of summer festival vibes from yeah. it. It's it's not like going to a winter time festival. No, no, no. It's more like going on a cruise, I think. Yeah, I don't think that most people can relate. No, but we can. <laughs> <laughs> Party cruises. Hmm. No, but... Um, the British people, they are crazy for partying. Mm -hmm. uh, they sure are. Uh, and that's very appreciated, at least by me. <laughs> then I make sure that I always have someone to party with. <laughs> when I have they, to sleep, they which don't, I do. They, they never go to bed. <laughs> no. Uh, and one of the other highlights is the commendation. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the big highlights. I've been talking about this at this YouTube channel several times already, but it's worth mentioning another time. The Infest, if you're going to Infest, uh, you can actually rent out the student flats. The actual festival takes place at the university area. And while the students are away over summer, mm. you can rent their flats for a very reasonable price. I think we paid like 90 pounds? Yeah, I think about 90 pounds a head for the... No, it was like 70, 70 pounds, 90 euros. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for four days, four nights uh, each, for a private room. 
uh, like a dorm room. Uh, a normal normal weekends where it's only they had extended uh, this year since it was the anniversary of the festival. So normally it's like fifty five pounds. Mm. Um, and for that we rented out this whole building. So we had twelve rooms. <laughs> Which might have been a financial disaster for me, <laughs> uh, but it was fun. <laughs> uh, anyway, you re- we rented out a full house, meaning that we also get, oh well, oh, everyone gets uh, access to the kitchen and a big living room. Mm-hmm. So you, after the festival ends uh, at the night, you can throw your own after party. And it's like, if you've been watching American uh, high school or well, college movies, it's like, mm-hmm. Uh, pure uh, college uh, party vibes yeah, really going nice. on, yeah. um, and and you can just hop hop between the different parties there, and you're mostly most likely welcome everywhere if you're a nice human being. <laughs> um, also, I would like to mention uh, you might not agree as much uh, with me on this, but I think that one of the highlights for me is that um, after the concerts are over, there is always an after show party like uh, DJs playing and people <laughs> dancing uh, and I think that compared to all these other festivals this people are much more they, they want to dance after the concerts are over and, mm. and I think that they play really good music uh, and that the DJs are really good there so uh, for me it's one of the highlights to get to dance a little yeah <laughs> it's really good yeah yeah <laughs> but I'm a snob yeah. <laughs> she 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 wants like she wants the DJs to play like trans DJs all the time. No, not like trans DJs, just that <laughs> Yes you want to. What's your highlights from okay. Infest? Um It's so friendly. Everyone's like it's, it's so cozy. You get it's to not talk, a, it's, it's talk not, to everyone. It's and no not one, very pretentious. No. It doesn't matter if you like uh, spend hours on your outfit or if you just like got out of bed. People yeah. want to talk to you and they want to like make you feel appreciated. Um, and I like that a lot um, because I have had this problem that I don't feel welcome anywhere. But I always feel feel welcome when I'm not close to these mm-hmm. people. Um, so it's really nice. I really like it. Yeah. So uh, I, I sure agree on that. Like on the downside, it's very hard to find anything to say for me <laughs> because it's just it's awesome. It's it's a uh, good value for the money. Mm. Uh, even though I mean, if you want to go to to a festival, but you want you want the the like the campsite festival vibe. Uh, but you don't want to camp. Mm. This is a perfect uh, mm. compromise because it feels like going to a campsite festival because everyone is living together, mm. uh, but you don't have to camp. Yeah, you don't. Well, you have to bring your own bedding. That's yeah. the only bad thing with the dorm yeah. living accommodations. But you can just bring us uh, a, a sleeping bag, sleeping bag yeah. and you're good to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and like one of the downsides for some people might be that there are less bands playing. They only have one stage, mm. which means that there will be one band playing and then there is a break and then the next band. So maybe there is only, it de- depends on which day of the festival there is, but maybe like five de- five bands playing one night instead mm. of like going to Mera Luna and there are fift- like 20 bands playing each mm. day or, or whatever. Mm. Um, but I think it's kind of good, then you actually have the opportunity to see all the bands, if you yeah. want to see the bands. Yeah. And, and I think, I mean, if you like to socialize or dance between the bands, then you are totally fine. Mm. You're, you're not missing out on that much. Yeah. So, I think it's really good. So, that was all the festivals. How do you summarize this? Crazy summer! Yeah. It's so hard because <laughs> all of these are so good. Yeah. And you kind of want to go back to all of them. Uh, it doesn't really work out good when yeah. you have a job. Yeah, and you <laughs> you also want to try new things. Yeah. It's it's very hard uh, to like choose one that cross out for next year or. Yeah, but I don't want to cross out any of them. Yeah. 
that's the downside. But I want to see all more festivals. Yeah. I want to go to Defcon again. Yeah, definitely one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are there is so so much. Um, I, I would say that just to do a, a quick quick summary, Way Good to is awesome because of the size and mm. the diversity. Mm. Uh, you can find anything there and like especially if you want to go for the fashion and seeing yeah. cool people dressing up uh, that's your place to go Subkult is uh, is the place to go if you want to visit Sweden and see party with crazy Swedish people yeah. and if you want to have a more calm festival experience where actually there is I mean going to Wave with the Treffen it's very cool but there's so many people so you don't really it's kind of hysterical you don't really m- get to know anyone no. it's very hard like you can see some meet someone and then you don't meet them for four days if you go to Tsubkult for example you'll actually recognize your campsite neighbors or if you stay in the in the city you'll still meet people again at the festival mm. and it's super friendly and and there is still I mean considering how small the festival is I would still say that they have a really really good uh, lineup still yeah they they have a great lineup every year yeah uh, Mira Luna, it's the place to go if you want to, also if you want to get the massive mm. experience. Um, but a bit closer. Yeah. You actually get to meet people more. Yeah, and, and, and if you want to, to have the, um, if you want to do camping mm. as well, it's, it's, it's the place to go. Yeah, I think that would be the best uh, camping festival I've been to. Yeah. I mean, all the, all the, um, it's very well organized for the campsite, and if you want, don't want to stay at the campsite, it's possible as well to stay indoors, but then you also need to book ahead. Mm. If you want to stay at the campsite, but with a bit more luxury, there is also like the luxury campsite, glamping. And yeah. there is also a, a pre, pre-set-up tents available. Mm. I've heard, at mm-hmm. least. If you're flying in, you can only fly with small luggage. That's nice. Um, but for me, the downside is that it's so short and it's yeah, a bit stressed. Yeah, it should be at yeah. least one day longer, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and Infest, it's it's like... It's it's a great end of the summer. Great way to end of the summer. Uh, what are they calling it? I think it's so uh, Industrial summer camp. Yeah, or I think it's, so, summer it's really... It summarize the whole feel about it. It's, uh, it's, it's actually a camp. Yeah. yeah. And it, it has... It's also like it's it's closer to Subkult in size than to Mira Luna or mm. Wilbur Treffen, um, but it's it's like it's also like they have still have great music, they have a great dance floor, they have great partying, they still have a fashion market, even though it's not even close to oh, any of uh, Mira Luna or Wilbur Treffen. But it, it's enough. You don't need more. No, you don't. I shopped enough. Yeah. Anyways, so <laughs> there are a bunch of styles there, and they sell great stuff. Yeah. and it's it's totally enough. Um, so, uh, and I would say so for for recommendations for f- people flying in um, for uh, for these festivals, I would say that Wave with the Treffen is a good alternative if you just can only do one festival. Uh, Subkult and Wave with the Treffen might actually be close in time, so mm-hmm. if you want to combine them, that might be possible. Uh, if you prefer to go at the end of the summer, I would recommend, if you're flying in for festivals and fun, uh, I would recommend do not only go to Mjölduna because you will feel that it's too short. Mm. So try to combine it with Infest or some other festival. Yes. Okay, so now <laughs> planning for the next uh, summer starts, especially if you want to go to one of these huge festivals. Make sure to book your recommendation if you don't want to stay at the campsite. If you want to camp, stay at the campsite, you'll have a lot of fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this, this little talk about the festivals might have been helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you around soon. Bye-bye. Bye.